Hey guys, Central Train, and today I'm back with episode 21 of my Terraria 1.3 mobile Let's Play series, and today we're going to attempt to find the key down in the dungeon that allows us to open up the chests down in the underworld. But before we begin, if you guys want to see more episodes like this, go and leave a like and or comment your opinions down below. And other than that, let's get right into it. Alright, so I have no idea what this is, but I'm pretty sure that you're able to get a pet from one of these things. Um, I saw a video of somebody actually getting a little pet from Blood Moon, which seemed pretty cool, so I don't know if it's possible to get it. But yeah, the pet does look really cool, uh, even though I have no idea how to get it. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get it soon, because it... I keep on forgetting about the lock-on. But uh, we do need to go back into the dungeon just so we can get that key that you can obtain in one of the chests that allows us to open up the chests down in the underworld. And uh, I really hope we'll be able to get it this episode, even though we're pretty bad right now. We also need to expand this house this episode, but I have no idea when. We do need more stone bricks. Let's see how many we have at the moment. We have 384 stone blocks. I feel like we'll be able to have enough for now. Uh, can we make some here? Uh, but it is currently Blood Moon, and we're trying to do some stuff. I'm pretty sure you can only make the stone bricks in the furnace in our house, so we're going to need to book it over there. Uh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. All right, so this is our mini arena. Um, but we do need to redo that dungeon again. I gotta get rid of the platforms. Yeah, cause somebody told me that the cultists still won't sp Oh my gosh, dude. What are you? Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, can we make the bricks here? Perfect, we can. Our inventory is full at the moment. I gotta get rid of a couple things. I'm gonna place this obsidian clock, cause at the moment, we're gonna need it just so we can- Can I place it? Um, I think I need- Oh, I need a higher block radius in order to actually place it. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, cool. This isn't good. Wait, what's down here? I've never actually been down here, so imagine if there's something really cool. Nope, absolutely nothing. This sucks. I absolutely hate the blood zombies. Is that what they're called? They're, um, the red zombies. No idea what they're called, but, uh, I'm just gonna call them that. Those things, you stupid douchebags. Um, oh. <sighs> Um, I'm just gonna use a magic mirror. Yeet! Alright, not morning at the moment. I still need to wait until morning. I could use one of these. I'm so... What are you? I never got to see what you were. Okay, one shot these zombies. Uh, we need to work with our inventory. Please. Let's see if we can get in the chest. Okay, perfect. We can get in the chest from here. Obsidian clock. That's what we managed to find. Oh, yeah, the diamonds. People have been telling me to make a diamond hook. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Uh, mine cards. The piranha statue. A hook. Still have no idea how to make a grappling hook. Uh, the hell forge. I need to place this. I'm going to just place it here. Why not? Uh, we're going to make our stone. Where's the stone bricks? There we go. Perfect. They're gray bricks, but I'm calling them stone bricks just because they do represent stone and bricks. How many did we manage to get? We managed to get 192. That's pretty good. We still need to expand our... What's this? A fireplace? They have these? A chimney? Dude, that's sick. I gotta add one of those soon. Snowballs. Uh, smooth marvel block. Flaming arrows. Jester's arrows. A wood fishing pole. Alright, so now that it's morning... Uh, let's start heading over to the dungeon, but the first thing we're gonna need to do is empty our inventory a little bit more, considering that we still have so much stuff here that we currently do not need, and, uh, even though that they will be useful in the future. There's the wood tugstin bars, uh, snow bricks. Let's just, let's just get rid of all of these, dude. I'm gonna keep all the statues for hard mode. The iron bow, uh, it never really came to be as useful than I, uh, than I intended. Wait, what can we make with this? I forget what you can make. Um, I don't know. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure you can make clothes. Like um, the hero clothes. You need silk and all that stuff. I also still need a bed. That's why I was hoping that I was able to find a bed either in the dungeon or in the underworld. Just so I wouldn't have to make it and spend all that time trying to make it. Uh, let's see. What else don't we need? Uh, let's move these. That ain't good. I keep on getting that little habit. That's not good. Um, is there a way you could, uh, 
add the magic mirror to your slot. Yeah, that apparently isn't a thing. That's really strange. Don't really uh, get it. Uh, let's try putting some more stuff in our chests. We need. We don't need these jesters here. Okay, people have been telling me this. I am going to make a chest room, but I have no idea when. I have no space in my chest anymore. That ain't good. Um, I think this is enough room just for a couple things, right? From the dungeon. Um, I'm just gonna say screw it. Alright, I'm gonna kill you guys. Give me the Eskimo clothes, please. I've been wanting those since episode one. And I still haven't managed to get a single pair of Eskimo clothes. Which is a pretty strange... Let's get to the dungeon, but uh, I'll actually get back to you once I get there. Ah! So yeah, last episode we managed to make it to the underworld, which uh, I'm really happy about. It did take me a little while just to get down there, but it was completely worth it. We managed to find a few things that may be useful in the future, especially the obsidian clock that we found earlier at the beginning of the video. Ah! That was in my inventory at the beginning of the video, which is pretty cool. I wanted to find a clock just so we could tell what the time is, obviously. <laughs> oh my god. But we're at the dungeon now. We need to get rid of these. All these platforms. Because apparently the, the cultists won't spawn. Which is a very strange, but I guess it makes sense. Oh look, it's a, one of those little goblin boys. I already defeated your parents. And um, <laughs> I'm gonna try and get everything done as soon as I can. I'll get the rest later, but I'm pretty sure that's enough space for now. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we don't get mauled um, again. That wasn't fun. Let's try and make more torches. I, I accidentally made campfires. Um, yeah, I'm just going to ignore... What, where did all my torches... Did I use all my torches on campfire? That didn't make any sense. No, come on. Why are you so OP? I got better armor, I swear. Um, I'm just gonna hustle. Oh, poop. I'm gonna go down as far as I can without getting mauled. Yeah, I haven't been down here yet. Oh no. Chest. A chest that I can't open. Serious? I can use healing potion. Oh my gosh, dude, I should have brought in that umbrella. Main reason why I'm dying is due to fall damage. <laughs> it's not good. Okay, so this isn't that bad. What's this? I'm gonna take you. An alchemy table. No beds? I still can't open you. Oh my god, this ain't good. Alright, I need... Dude, I really need something in a bottle. No! Okay, what am I gonna... A chest! And I specifically picked up the gold key! Ah! This ain't good. I have 21 HP! You! Quit trying to hurt me! Jesus! A bone. We got two bones. Why are you back? No! Heal. Alright, you guys are gonna burn. I need to find another gold chest. Because I can't go all the way back there. Oh my god! Dude! Oh, come on, dude. That sucks. <sighs> Alright, so we managed to find... We managed to find a gold key. We're gonna go back to the dungeon just so we can open up the first chest that is closest to the entrance. Um, because I don't really want to go down any farther, but hopefully... We'll be able to obtain the key that allows us to go down into the underworld and uh, open up all the chests. Chess. It is currently almost nightfall, so that's going to be a big pickle for now. And uh, hopefully I will be able to deal with all the mobs that will be spawning during the night. But yeah, I wanted to thank everybody for all the support. Um, that's the only reason as to why I'm still posting on YouTube is because of you guys. You guys motivate me to keep on posting. If you guys want to see any more Terraria content, then go ahead and leave a like. Uh, let me know what you you guys would like to see down below. Would you guys like me to see me review maps and all that? I could do a series based on that. That'd be fun. But uh, at the moment, I've done 21... Well, this is the 21st episode. And um, a hacked world video. 
And so far, it's been going pretty good. And I've also released... Okay, so I might buy the Mini Shark just so I could get the Molten bu Bullets. The Meteor Bullets, I think that's what they're called. That allows the bullets to bounce off the walls and everything. Just because I feel like it'd be more useful, especially against the Wall of Flesh. If I were to make like a little, a little arena just for that, uh, I feel like it'd work. I've done that before, but that was in the 1.2.4 version. So uh, if you guys think that'd work, then go ahead and let me know. Uh, because most of the time people are giving me the opinions and everything and they're giving me better options uh, Okay, I'm good. Why are you here? But uh, yeah, just let me know. I need to make sure need to be sure about everything and uh, So far I feel like this series is doing pretty good. I got myself a pet eater of worlds I still haven't named it yet. So let me know what I should name this this little eater guy I also got a shadow orb. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna call him a shadow orb. I'm sorry for killing you, dude. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Super fun. Getting excited for Halloween, too. Ah! I need to make sure I don't take any more fall damage, because that's all I've been doing this episode. How far do we make it down to the dungeon? Uh, we're getting pretty close, though. Am I right? Uh, yeah, we managed to go pretty far down into the dungeon before getting mauled. Um, the chest is right there. That's the first chest. We need to get there within... Uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, we have time. We'll be fine. Because... <laughs> Are you joking? Oh, dude. Why does every single... This happens every time. Whenever I'm planning on doing something, it completely does a 180, and I've got to do all this stuff. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be fighting fighting the King Slime this episode. That's pretty lit. Um, we also need to make a rope arena just for him. Because people have been telling me that. I don't know how high to make it, though. I don't think I'll have time. Because I really do need to kill all these slimes in order to actually spawn them. I really need more gel, too. I can't lock onto any of them just because they die in, like, one shot. One. Two. It's also nightfall. How's this gonna work? I thought it would only spawn during the day. Well. Oh! Yeah, didn't really expect this happens to me every time. It ha it's the exact same thing that happened to me with the goblin army. I've defeated 50 green slimes. Don't I get a banner? I guess not. That sucks. Okay, I need to kill these. Should I wait until morning? Nah, I'm gonna kill them now. Alright, we got some rope. I'm gonna prepare the arena. Uh, where's all my rope? Okay, they're up on the top left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build... Oh, poop. i got to kill all these guys. Before I can actually start building the arena, but they keep on mauling me. Holy balls! Dude, I need... Oh, my 50th blue slime. I'm trying to be sure... You... I want to. I want to make sure that I don't spawn in the king slime by accident from killing enough slimes. This is gonna suck. I can't do it. That sucks. Okay, I guess I gotta fight him with my little arena. I guess I can't use rope. Oh yes, come on. Come on. No. Go. No, I accidentally jumped off. Go up. Thank you. All right. So I have no idea how much I'm supposed to go up. Really hoping this is enough. Let's just stand up here for a bit. Because King Slime does jump uh, quite a ways. I want to be sure that I actually can beat him. I'm pretty sure I can just because I have the uh, the space gun. And considering I'm able to beat every single pre-hard mode boss, I don't see the King Slime to be a problem. Even though I haven't defeated Queen Bee yet. We need, uh, we need to actually try and spawn him in. I've defeated a hundred blue slimes. This has been going on forever, and King Slime still hasn't spawned in. So, I, I'm gonna, I'm getting sick. Okay, I'm gonna let you know when King Slime actually spawns in, because so far nothing's happened. Never mind. He spawned in the second I was about to go off. Where are you, buddy? Oh, you're here. Okay, let's go up. I'm out of mana, that's why it's not shooting.
Am I really gonna get killed by King Slime? I'm gonna get killed by King Slime. Alright, as long as I have a good amount of mana, I'll be alright. He jumped right over me. I need health. These things only drop mana. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get killed by slimes, dude. Come on! Oh. You're not getting me. I, s I hope he doesn't get me. <gasps> Whoa! No, dude! He's going for the house. That's not good. No, please don't tell me he despawned. He's still here. And I have no mana. Jump! Alright, thank god they updated it. Whenever you, whenever a boss would kill you, you would instantly, uh, no, he'd eat, instantly despawn, which, uh, sucked a lot. Alright, so he's pretty, he's pretty strong. He's stronger than I expected. Let's see what I got. Maybe it's because I was constantly spraying this. Alright, so he managed to defeat King Slime, which is good. Ah, uh, that's one more thing off our bucket list. We got a slime hook. We got the ninja hook. The ninja hood, my bad. Uh, what's this? The solid fire. Well, that ain't too bad. We we didn't get this, the saddle, though. That sucks. I accidentally broke the campfire. Ah, uh, let's place her back. Alright, so I'm going to end this video on a high note. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more episodes like this, go and leave a like and or comment your opinions down below. I just got killed by King Slime, and uh, that was embarrassing. Uh, and other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.